After two years, we finally get a brand new map for Warzone. And although I've been asking for a new map for over a year now, I'm not necessarily happy with what we got. Allow me to explain. I know a lot of people were asking for a new map for a very long time. And now that we got it, a lot of people are complaining about it as well. Speaking for myself, I was hoping the map design would continue in the way of Verdansk, sort of. Where it would take place in an urban environment, it would be relatively easy to get from point to point, and you wouldn't get stuck in the open all that often. Sadly, that doesn't seem to be the case with the new map, Caldera. The map taking place on an island in a World War II setting. And just so we can move on, here's my tweet with the cliff notes of what I don't like about the map. Funny thing, this map has some of the same issues I have with World's Edge on Apex Legends. You can watch my video on that in the notifications. And as you may notice, I don't really have gameplay footage of Caldera yet. But that's for two reasons. One, I have about 20 clips from Rebirth that I kind of want to use. And second, I only have one day to play the map so far. And for some reason, Shadowplay was randomly turned off when I was playing the game. But going back on topic, for Battle Royales, it is typical for there to be open areas of the map that leaves you vulnerable. My problem being that I prefer consistency in map design, where that doesn't happen in highly populated areas. And if you tried Caldera once, you'll notice that there's a lot of empty areas with little to no cover. Verdansk has this issue as well, but in very specific areas. Say for example, leaving the military base and going towards the salt mines. Not a whole lot you can do from there. Or moving across the canal from hangars to TV station. Again, very much a death trap. Outside of that, the map stayed fairly consistent, with constant hardcover and ways to move from point to point. In Caldera, it feels random. Not in the sense that the map is changing, but more so that rotating towards another area is just asking to get shot. And with the areas being mostly open, getting shot from 50 meters or further, outside of footstep range, it's very easy to get blindsided or randomly sniped. If there ever was a time where snipers should not down a player with one headshot, it would be now. I believe the way the map is now would allow a skilled player to get a lot of kills. With this said, it's not all open or bad. The larger points of interest, like Peak, can be fun to play in, and there is also a little town that is a lot of fun to move around, as each building in that town has multiple floors you can use. But then that's slightly countered with there being a lot of soft cover, which means bullets can go through a lot of walls in this map. Walls that I would regularly consider to be solid. So at first impressions, it's not a map I'd be good at. I barely played Verdansk after a year due to fatigue and not really having a regular set of people to team up with, but Rebirth Island was holding me over with its faster paced action. At this point, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm looking forward to next year's Call of Duty, which would be made by Infinity Ward and go back to a modern setting. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this map and the Vanguard weapons. If you agreed and or enjoyed, please consider leaving a like on this video and follow for more gaming topics. That's all I have to say for now, so enjoy the rest of these clips, and until then, I am Mr. Rain, and I will see you guys next time. I destroyed. Whoa, shit, they're on me. Ah, dude, like it. Picking this boy up on the roof at the half walk. Oh no, there's another one. I think he already might have ran. No, nope, he's still here. Ran. Good shoot. Get back to him. Oh, sorry. Drop him. Position airstrike. Who's for us, for sure. He's here, he's oh. here. Burn the house. Oh, I mean, ooh! What the hell? Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the Yeah. Oh, let me put it down. Nice. What is that? 
I think he might have closed the door, man. Yo, on heady, on heady. Upstairs, coming up, coming up behind you. Yo, watch bomb. Yeah, yeah right side heady now. Nice, good shit. Yo, one push and close. Got him. Yo, good shit, boys. Shit. Glad we lived that. Yo, he's down here with us, man. Nice, good shit. Yo, his teammates above. He might look down on us. I'm gonna get Yui real quick. Yo, let's push decon, bro. Just so we don't get beamed from prison. Yeah, I'm getting looked at like from Kim or something. Like he's next to the helipad. Yeah, I'm pushing decon, bro. Yo, one's one shot, bro. Right here. That's him. Nice, nice, nice. Only one more. I'm landing right on Lodi. He was in there for sure. He's fat. Yeah, he's hit a lot. Yo, behind us? Yeah, I got one landed. Yo, he has another one. Another one there. Yo, he's down here with me, bro. Yo, one. They're like all back. Good shit, good shit. There's more guys, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're behind you, behind you, in the in the lane, right side of Decon, like right here. He just jumped in right here. Downed him. Good stuff. Yeah, he's fucked. I don't know what that was. Yeah, one drop, one drop. Yo, he above, yeah. right above, right above. He's right above us, orange. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna try to get on roof. Nice. 
One just landed roof. One just landed roof. Enemy yeah, he just dropped. Take a drop. Did we just try to snipe you? Good fire, so. What the f? There's a. He said I. No way. Where? From where? Just hold this. Enemy I can buy him. I've got a free thing. They're looking down on you. They're looking down on you. They're above you guys. Oh no. I bought you back. What? Oh no. Can you crawl? There's one at the fan. There's one at the end of the roof. Oh my god. I've got a precision. He's right here. I did, I did, I did, I did. Let's go. Oh, we won. Oh, we won.